Hey guys, Artosis here, bringing you some more of the CNSL Season 6. Right now we are in the round of four, and we are starting the second match to see who will move up to play against our Protoss player YSC in the finals. This is going to be a Zerg versus Protoss. We have Beast here on the left-hand side, and on the right, we have Motive. So definitely going to be either a Zerg vs. Protoss in that finals or another Protoss vs. Protoss. Very excited to see how this will go down. Of course, again, best of seven. The first of four wins is going to be able to take this. Guys, thank you very much for tuning in to Artosis Cast. I really appreciate you guys coming by and watching, uh, spending part of your day here with me. It is honestly very appreciated. So thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, that's a great thing you can do. Of course, always appreciate comments and likes and things like that as well. It helps the video to be more seen. And uh, yeah, very excited as we're coming to the end of this tournament as well. There will be a third place match uh, after this one before the finals also. So, so, so you're still going to see one more match out of, uh, I believe that one's a best of five. So yeah, uh, still a few more, a few more days left at least. Now this map is Sylphid three-player map this probe going to be able to go over and find uh find beast right away and he is doing the gateway opener right the forward gateway at his natural as part of his wall he's going to pressure with some zealots and what he's finding here is going to be a hatchery first so now we get to see how many zealots does he actually want to make and send across the map uh you know it's it's pretty crazy how much damage you sometimes can get with these uh, zealot pushes, but occasionally you'll see them actually not really end up killing very much, you know? Like, you lose the zealot, but you've only killed like three lings or something like that. Uh, of course, keeping that pressure on is such an important part of playing against Zerg. This is like, I think, one of the more complex things that exists uh, in StarCraft just overall. Against Zerg is kind of the, it's where you figured it out. The quickest is like, don't let Zerg make too many drones. How do you do that? You make them make units. How do you do that? you send units at them, right? You 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 make them fearful. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's it's like a very important aspect uh, of the game is applying pressure to your opponent to make sure that they are not being too greedy in any way. So, you know, it, that's something that uh, obviously these Zealot openers do better than any of the older Forge Fast Expansion builds, right? Like that's something you, you got to think about and... And add into your play if you're a Protoss player. You don't want to just do the Forge Expands, even though they feel a lot safer as you get better at this. Like, look, he's making Sixlings right now. Did he want to make Sixlings? Probably not. <laughs> it probably would have been two to four uh, if this was a Forge opener. So already you're kind of denying drones. Look at this, denying a little bit of mining time in here as well. And the Zealot, ooh, that's a good surround there from Beast. Very good surround. He actually decides to go after the Probe, which is a very good choice also, I would say. Take some damage. Already three lings down. Some more lings are going to pop out, and that is enough to finish this zealot off. Ooh, he gets in front of it. Motive trying to get behind those mineral patches. Unable to do so. And not terrible micro, but like I said, sometimes you only kill like three lings, which is exactly what happened here. Uh, you know, less than the value of a zealot, but of course you were applying pressure as well, which is very important. Now, two lings came across for a counterattack and got a probe. This is actually kind of scary. You can't really chase the lings right now. You have to guard this cannon. The cannon must finish. If the cannon gets like knocked out or anything, you can actually just lose the game instantly. So looking here, these two lings trying to cause some problems and he does get another zealot out, right? So he has a blocker here, a blocker here, and the probe is helping out as well on hold position. So gonna hold that front very nicely. In the meantime, I mean, these, these very, very, very fast zerglings already with that speed upgrade Causing some havoc in the main base. That was a nice surround by Motive, though. Put some damage onto that Zergling. Uh, you know, they only have that one uh, initial kill against the, the probe that had made the cannon. So far, not getting any more. And you can see that Motive being very, very patient here, right? Like, he he just he needs to make sure he's not losing things. And one way to lose things is to move your solid out of that wall. Definitely not something he wants to do. Uh, I do want to talk about the build that's going on because I'm kind of looking out of the corner of my eye while I watch these Zerglings run around as to what's going on. Nice kill there. Ooh, he gets a probe kill. That's that's excellent uh, there for, for Beast. But let's take a look at this build, right? He got speed. He took the uh, drones off of gas and he's gone for a third hatchery. So it's Zergling speed with a fair amount of Zerglings out. 
And now we have the Hydralisk Den. So it looks like this is likely going to be just a three hatch Hydra follow-up. Uh, you know, having those speed Zerglings out on the map, uh, you know, it, it kind of applies that additional pressure where it's like, okay, well, we have to be very careful to leave this area. You can't have Lings just running by and flooding in. That's why he's adding a second Photon Cannon just to make sure a small group of Lings can't run in and ruin his day. Another probe kill there uh, by the Zergling. But yeah, if if Motive doesn't figure out that this is coming, I mean, you guys have seen it, uh, you know, is probably, I would say, maybe even 20% of Zerg vs. Protoss games are a Hydra bust. Maybe even more than that. I'm not actually entirely sure, but like, it's a lot. So uh, probably everyone has seen these types of busts and you know just how dangerous they can become. Now, three Zalts walking out. These are to get some info more than anything else. He sees a lot of speedlings, right? That Those speedlings are going to be annoying. They are going to be able to pick off all these Zalts before they get across the map. So this is a situation where you don't actually know what's going on. Only two cannons at home. That's not enough. One cannon being made in the main mineral line and another here. So he actually thinks it's a Mutalisk build. That's why you make these two cannons like this, to make sure that Mutas can't come out and kill you. Now, the Dragoon comes out, and actually he does have the Corsair that sees these Hydras. So we should see more. Notice this cannon got canceled immediately, and he is going to warp in some more cannons here. So this is a very important moment. Can Motive hold on against these initial Hydras? Ooh. That was a big misclick. A big misclick there from Beast. Losing one of his initial Hydralisks. Every single unit matters a lot here. He actually puts another cannon back here. That's kind of a funny one. That's kind of a funny one. I'm not entirely sure about that one. That one might be like, if Lings start to get in, this will help. And yeah, I don't know. I Maybe he's leaving a path here for his units. But let's see how, how well he's going to do on this defense. The Corsair is still kind of out on the map. You know, an okay amount of drones, and he is droning right now, by the way. We can see drones being produced and another macro hatchery, which is going to be at that third base location. So this is not a Hydra all-in, right? There's so many degrees of these Hydra busts. And is this going to move forward? Is he going to let this, this cannon finish as well? It's a big question. Range is almost done. He actually cancels as the Corsair flies through and sees the drone count increasing, sees the additional hatcheries, sees the evolution chamber. He knows that this is basically the end of the Hydralisk production. So getting that cancel off, getting the gateways up a little bit quicker, definitely going to be a good choice. I got to tell you, so far in this PVZ, it's been a wonderful back and forth between the two. Like, they seem very evenly matched right now, which is exactly what you want to see in a round of four. But yeah, like, it, it's, it's, there's been, like, some, some to and fro, some strategic, uh, changes going on, uh, adjusting on the fly. Like, seeing that his opponent was defending reasonably well, you know, Beast goes back into drone production and macro, seeing that that's occurring, cancels a few of his cannons, gets into his gateways, uh, more quickly. You know, we already have that Forge getting that second pl er, oh. Oh. I actually hadn't noticed this, by the way. That Forge was upgrading over here. Uh, and it was getting armor, but, like, I guess he was trying to get two upgrades at once. Oh, that's interesting. So, yeah, he might have actually canceled an upgrade earlier to afford another cannon, that type of thing. But anyways... Not, not a huge deal, not a huge deal. He's lost his front buildings, which happens quite often against these Hydra's pressure builds. And is going up to the eight gates in the main base. Really nice Sim City, by the way. This is this is very good looking to my brain. <laughs> I really like how organized this is. Uh, but yeah, he's going up to those eight gates, which is exactly what you can what you can support on two bases. And the Overlord comes in, sees like, oh, okay, we see the timing of this. Salt legs are not done, but probably soon. We see the Temple Archives is already out. The Forge is spinning. Okay. So Beast has a good idea of what Motive is up to. Now, uh, this Corsair has been flying around trying to scout what's going on. He saw the Spire up here. There's three hatches, two more here, one here. So we're in six hatch Hydra mode. Uh, getting into, after the speed and range upgrades are done on these Hydras, he is getting into the Lurker upgrade as well. And of course, we'll have the possibility to switch into Mutalisks, which can be a bit scary. Now, seeing all that, the robotics facility coming up, knowing he's going to need observers, maybe a shuttle as well for a little cheeky, like, DT drop, something like that, we'll see. And a little bit of a run out here by Motive. Good amount of speed lots on the map. Eight speed lots, as well as a single Dragoon. The Dragoon going to find an Overlord here and maybe stop to try to kill it. 
But I don't feel like he can get too, too much done here with his odds, right? Like, it's pretty good SimCity. You're holding a ramp. More Hydras are coming out. They have those speed and range upgrades done. And honestly, it's not that heavy of a Zaw contingent. We actually have Motive doing a style or kind of like tending towards a style that I actually really, really appreciate. I think it's an excellent way to play. This is more Rain-esque, right? We talk about Rain sometimes. He's he's an ASL champion, uh, you know, a GSL champion from StarCraft II, one of the best Protosses ever. I've, I've spoken about this before. I actually think we would have a Protoss Bonjoa if he was full-time, right? He's like kind of a variety streamer at this point and just plays occasionally and gets into ASL every time he tries. <laughs> but yeah, honestly, like, uh, he showed us the last time he got into the finals, like this very Dragoon heavy early mid game, right? Whereas a lot of people make 30 Zealots, he'll like make a smaller group like we see from Motive and get into uh, those Dragoons. And of course that's helping here. He didn't really need to make, uh, Motive didn't need to make too many Corsairs or anything when he saw the Spire and everything. He already had these Dragoons on the way. By the way, he should probably kill a couple cannons here to get out uh, more easily. But also we do need to point out Maelstrom on the way. We're going to have a Dark Archon, and that's going to be for catching the Mutas. It's one of the most powerful things that you can do in this matchup. If you Maelstrom 12 Mutas and Storm them, dude, you're so close to winning the game off of that. It's it's just so insanely good. Uh, I don't see the Dark Templars or the Dark Archon yet. Maybe I'm, I'm missing it somewhere. A good size Storm goes down. Where would that be? No, I guess he hasn't actually made it yet. Like, he's getting Maelstrom. Maybe he's just getting ready for it. Maybe he's decided, you know what? I'm okay. I don't need it yet, but it's good to get the upgrade so that it's kind of ready if I do need it later on. But that is a lot of Dragoons. A good amount of Zealots. Motive hasn't wasted a unit at this point, by the way. Uh, and don't forget, he's down 10 workers here, 11 workers here, so his army supply is a bit higher. But I got to say, Beast Macro is beastly. Look at this. He's expanded again with two hatcheries there. So now he's up to eight hatchery Hydra Lurker Muta. Oh, there's the Dark Archon. How did I miss this? Where was that hiding? I'm actually, I'm legitimately confused. It might have been on screen and my eyes just didn't see it, but it's so red. It should stick out like a sore thumb. Anyways, he has the Dark Archon in there. So Maelstrom is ready. He has enough mana for it already. And there it is. Watch this. Oh my God absolute insanity kills so much he kills every single mutalisk there look at that it, it's wild uh so no more mutas are out and motive taking a third base i gotta say like I, I i like motive i've casted a lot of motive games this is one of the better pvzs i've seen him play like i feel like he's he's doing everything very very well but beast is really on fire right now also his macro is insane he did lose all those mutas which is painful but he's got a lot of supply he's kind of bullying him back a little bit coming into this small choke point i don't know if this is going to be good for him if you get any size storms up there it is going to hit a lot of hydras at once you know you're very very clumped in this type of position backs up has a little bit of a containment here but honestly i don't think you're looking to move out in this direction i think you're defending this direction right like look we have three cannons maybe he'll leave a high templar maybe he'll leave a small group of units to just stop any harassment that comes in here. Any pressure from this side. And see, it comes in, he throws down a size Storm, the cannons and Dragoons absolutely decimate those Hydras. And you can see he is taking a bit more of a supply advantage now. More Zealots, more High Templars pouring out. Additional upgrades on the way. He is getting that plus two armor. No second forge or anything like that as of yet. Let's zoom out to just see this ridiculous wave coming down though. This is the Zerg Swarm right here. A lot of Hydras and Lurkers coming down to kind of fight against Motive, trying to get into a good position, but the size Storms are pretty insane. He does dodge them a little bit. More Zealots coming up. This group of Dragoons needs to run. This group of Dragoons is getting absolutely destroyed. Okay, he does start to pull it back. This side is actually winning for Motive. This side losing badly. You don't want to lose like 12 Dragoons to just Hydras fighting them. They need support. Now he pulls them back and only a few Hydras follow. So turns around, fights them, hits some size Storms on the other side. More rallying units coming out as well. But we're actually getting very close as far as those army supplies are concerned. Uh, one thing to note is that Beast right now is macroing heavily, but he's not getting any additional upgrades or any additional tech. 
So he's kind of on kill mode right now. He is really looking to maybe end this game, just then starts a carapace upgrade, but it's just, he's not really moving forward with anything. So he's gonna have to get something done. Comes in with the lurkers, with the hydras. We have some beautiful side storms going down, hitting the lurkers and the hydras there. So many dead units. Oh my God, Emotive definitely looks like he's gonna hold this without any problem right now. Does lose a few units, kind of straggling into the wrong direction. Getting uh, at least a couple cannons here at this mineral base. This mineral base is actually pretty important, by the way. This base runs out very quickly on Sylphid. So you want to, if you take this as your third, you need to take a fourth very, very quickly. Like before you honestly, you think about attacking. Because if you start an attack, you're not gonna keep it going long. This will generally run out at a similar time to the natural, maybe not in this matchup, but in a lot of matchups, right? Because it just, it has very reduced, uh, very reduced resources. So hopefully we'll see Motive send a lot of units here. Has some units still kind of waiting to make sure another attack doesn't come. Another Hydralisk attack onto this third base spot, but Zelts are here to support those cannons. Uh, that's a lot of Hydras though. Has to bring up the High Templars, has a couple storms ready. Ooh, misses that one mostly. The second one reigns true though. That was beautiful. Kills a ton of Hydras, and we're gonna have to see him pull back. Okay, so where are we at? Are we still, yeah, still just production of Hydras. He is getting that, again, that plus one carapace, which is a good upgrade, but not really working towards anything else. Uh, plus three armor coming up right now. Or no, sorry, it, I thought it, I saw plus three armor. I think he may have actually canceled there. But getting some Archons with what he's morphed. Unfortunately, it looks like Beast makes the first big injury to mode above this game. He's gonna kill a lot of those probes. Uh, and kill this Nexus off. So that's really incredibly painful. Uh, Motive kind of roaming about in, in between these three bases, but not getting any super great engagements. Uh, he does have a pretty significant army supply advantage at this point. You'd have to add like 15 of that. Eh, maybe not as significant as I thought. There's still a lot of macro coming out of Beast, but Beast killing this base is big. I think right now Motive actually needs to retake a base. Uh, because I think he's going to run out very quickly. Another attack comes in and will hit this third base location. He's going to get up there before he loses his probes, but some of the cannons do end up going down. We're up to 10 gateways pumping out at this moment. Have those 1-2 upgrades. It's going to be 2-1 upgrades for the Hydras very shortly here as well. No, uh, no additional... Upgrades uh, like uh, Kadir and Amulet. <laughs> That's it. The plus plus uh, Templar energy. Sometimes it's generally a very good upgrade to get for Protoss, but uh, he is a little bit gaslight here, spending it very nicely. Another Maelstrom goes down, and he will be able to kill off the Hydras as well as uh, you know the Overlord there. So very good usage of this Dark Archon still. Still really being worth a lot. Definitely has more than paid for itself. Beast hitting double locations, right? Like he, ooh, that was an insane size storm, an insane size storm. Motive has lost a few more workers during this time. So his army is actually, like he definitely has the better army right now, but Beast just won't stop attacking him. Look at this, waves and waves and waves of Hydras coming in. And here's the thing, look at this. He's producing 20 Hydras at a time. That's insane macro, but if he keeps doing this, even though he's like not actually denting him, just the fact that we don't have a fourth base up, like this is gonna run out soon. And this is gonna run out soon thereafter, especially when you start transferring some of your probes from your eaten up bases. So it looks like he sends a probe up here. This is incredibly important. He needs to take this location and he needs to hold it. I almost wish he had taken that instead of this one. This one's a little bit harder to hold. This is at least up a ramp and does have that additional gas, which can be very helpful. And it looks like the Hydra's coming down here. There's a lot of Psy Storms uh, for him to try to deal with. Looks like he makes an Archon rather than lose a High Templar there. Okay, fair enough. Although Archons, uh, you got to remember, not too good against Hydras, right? Like the Hydras do full damage to the Archon shields. And, you know, when it's a damage type like Explosive, that, that makes the unit very good against Archons. Uh, anyways, comes in, pushes him back once again. Got to zoom out here because this is like turning into such a positional battle. Uh, you see that right now, Beast sending a lot of groups of Hydras here. He has taken this base, by the way, hasn't expanded beyond there, but still, that's a lot of mining for Beast and comes in a huge arc. Look at this gigantic arc surrounding the army of Motive. 
those Archons going to be picked off pretty quickly. Some good size Storms for sure. The Dark Archon, ooh, he actually does get a reasonable Maelstrom there, but we need a lot more units coming up. It looks like these Photon Cannons are not going to finish in time, just barely. That High Templar almost had enough energy for another Storm, but doesn't quite hit it. And this is a bad, bad problem. One Lurker burrowed here. Okay, that's a good Storm. Get some of his own probes during there, but that's okay. You just have to get rid of these Hydras. You cannot be losing this Nexus right now as motive. His Zots, oh, that is so annoying, but he will be able to take it down. It was a very low health morph. Uh, the Lurker Egg trying to buy some time, and it looks like he will hold. He's got a lot of High Templars in here, so we just need to see some good Storms. We need to see uh, the used High Templars turn into Archons ASAP because he just needs any units he can get right now. The Spy on both sides absolutely plummeting. Gets another nice storm down there onto those two lurkers. Ooh, go kill it, go kill it. No! Oh, the Archon dies before it can morph in and does end up killing off those two lurkers, though. Okay, so we have the fourth base up. It's not really mining well yet. Only three probes. Definitely needs to... Well, honestly, his probe count's pretty low, but you want to send a good 12 from there, I would say. Get this super saturated at this point. Uh, that's going to last a lot longer. All right, Storms on those Hydras pushes them back. Now, the supply here is higher for Beast, but when you look at his drone count, it's a lot bigger army for Motive. Now, here's, here's what I say. I think Motive has to sit back completely defensively. Like, he needs to build a much bigger army than what he has because right now, you look at this, it's like the A-team. It's like, yeah, we have a little bit of everything in there. It's pretty it's pretty good, but you can't attack with that. You can defend with that. He needs to build a much bigger army if he wants to actually go across the map and attack anything. And Beast, I think, is feeling a lot of pressure to try to finish the game at the moment, right? As this base gets up and running, we're up to like four gas. Obviously, some of these are going to run out. That's depleted, almost depleted, and fully depleted, right? So it's, it's, it's more like two and a half gas at the moment. Uh, but still, that's a solid amount of High Templars coming out. I love this, the hold position, the two high Templars, the photon cannons, very hard to break through. Some good size storms kind of punishing uh, Beast even looking for an attack there. Beast is going to try to take another base. You probably can't let him take these two bases. But again, you have to build up into an army that can sustain itself. This isn't going to sustain itself, I think. Right? Like, uh, he's moving across the map. Maybe. Let's see. Like, he has a good amount of size storms. It's just there's not a lot of health in this right? It feels like Beast may be able to chew through this. Okay, he pulls back exactly what I want to see. Rallies up a few more Dragoons, a few more Zealots in there as well. Eight more Dragoons being produced. His army's starting to get a little bit scary here. Nice Psy Storm goes down, leads with those Archons and Zealots as the tanking units, as he should. Gets into the middle here. Some decent Psy Storms. Oh god, this flank though. This flank is absolutely insane. Gets a good Psy Storm off on it. But the Hydras run into the middle. Oh, man. Good size storms, but once again, the health is not there. The High Templars getting picked off, turned into Archons, which will be killed as well. And suddenly, that A-team of units is gone. We have to refill the entire army, right? This is not something you can really let happen uh, against Zerg, right? It, it, the High Templars, you want to keep as many alive as long as possible. Uh, in here, unfortunately, he just ended up losing like 10 High Templars. He doesn't have a big gas bank. He has to remake an army that was better than what we just saw. And it doesn't feel that likely. I feel like he just didn't hit the critical mass he needed for an attack like that. Now, Motive dealing okay-ishly with this attack, but because it's a flank on Dragoons, you are going to have a harder time with it. Yeah, these Hydras coming up and killing off a lot of those high-quality units again. And you're seeing how hard it is for Motive to put an army together. The supply really starting to dwarf him. I tell you, this has been an excellent game, but I'm not sure how you come back here as Motive, right? We're almost down to one mining base plus some depleted geysers, right? Everything's depleted. So this is like six gas. Uh, right, it's two, 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 so that's six, and this is eight. So it's like a gas and three-fourths of a gas. So it's not quite two geysers that he has going. You know, it's it's very minimal mineral patches right now, just like one base. So it's going to be very hard to macro up into anything, even if you're super cost-efficient. Just the fact that we have these somewhat healthy bases still. Look, pretty healthy, pretty healthy, very healthy. 
That's that's bad news. Motive comes over here with the probe. Maybe he's thinking about expanding again. But, like, can he hold on? Uh, some little sniping groups of Hydras coming up, trying to get some of these High Templars. You know, you can force those storms out pretty quickly. See, he runs in, tries to target down. I mean, you throw the storm down, but honestly, that killed more Zalots than it killed Hydras at this point. Pulls back up the ramp, pulls back towards his cannons as he needs to. Ah, uh, can't even make the Archon. The dance not working out there. And holding this position with the Lurkers as well makes it so much harder, especially when you know your opponent is starting to hurt on gas. Uh, the Lurkers are going to become more and more powerful because there's going to be more Zealots involved in these attacks. And honestly, this is starting to look like very, very bad for Motive. Right, this base is getting cleared. It's already empty, so it's not the end of the world. But the problem is, this is the linked area between this base and all of the production. So when you lose this, it's like, okay, so you have to battle all the way from your rally point up to here to save this base if it's under attack. We don't even have Psy Storm up here. So a very bad situation. Honestly, just holding him on a containment is probably enough to win here for Beast. These are, these are probably the closing moments of this game. Uh, you know, I, I feel like he could do a lot of different things here. It looks like he's just producing hydras and that's going to work. Like he could add some, some lurkers and be fine. Oh God, didn't catch that one. I think beast didn't either. Nine kills, 10 kills on this dark Templar. So, uh, doing a good job with some counter harassment, but it's still 46 drones. You're still, you still got a good, good solid economy here, right? Like he can just transfer all these drones up there and be completely fine. Do a round of drones, send them up, going to be completely fine. And continues to have a massive supply advantage here. Motive making what he can afford. See, a little, little bit of lurkers uh, in between the two bases. Looks like he does want to finally try to attack up to the high ground. He is missing like half shots there and taking a lot of shots. Really beautifully placed cannons. Uh, the Hydra's having a hard time ranging up to those. And then they'd have to go up the ramp, which is super inefficient. Especially with all these zealots there to tank damage and deal damage as well. So a beautiful setup, no doubt. He's keeping that, so that's really hard to break. You could probably kill a lot of Hydras uh, trying to break up that ramp. <laughs> uh, anyways, some of these Hydras maybe misclick down a little bit. Trying to keep these High Templars alive. Looks like he did target that one for a, a couple shots. Uh, yeah, yeah. So it seems like right now the whole plan for Motive is like sit here, harass as much as possible, and question mark question mark question mark profit it's it's okay like it's i don't i don't blame him for playing this i don't think there's much else he can do other than try some harassment look at that up to 13 kills there uh you know he has this shuttle kind of hidden right now he did get a reasonable size storm off on it maybe he can get one more without it getting caught and then we do have another fight here in the center motive coming out yeah he just doesn't have enough the spread of the hydras he's getting some insane high size storms into there but as the micro comes down, he's just going to outmaneuver. And GG, we have Beast taking game number one.